of a solid sphere of mass 5 kg about x y is 5 meters as shown in figure the radius of the sphere is this then the value of x is so this is a solid sphere so this is the axis which is passing through the center of mass okay we write it i center of mass the moment of inertia through the center of mass so the moment of inertia through the center of mass is going to be 2 by 5 m r square now since we have to calculate the moment of inertia about x y so therefore x uh, about x y it will be i c o m plus m d square okay this is due to the parallel axis theorem which tells that <coughs> the moment of inertia about a point uh, about an axis x y is equal to Now the moment of inertia about center of mass plus the total mass and the uh, parallel distance between both of the axis so here if you see this icm is going to be 2 pi 5 m r square and plus m total mass into d square now this d you know the distance between both of them is going to be r okay so therefore we have uh, plus m into r square which becomes 7 by 5 m r square now this is i x y now uh, when we have to find the radius of gyration so the radius of gyration is going to be m into k square where k is the radius of gyration So therefore, what is going to happen is mm gets cancelled. So therefore, uh, k becomes 7 by 5 root 7 by 5 into r. So therefore, um, r is equal to root over 5 by 7 into k. Now this k is the radius of gyration only, which is 5 meters. So therefore, this is root over 5 by 7 into 5. Okay. So, which is basically 5 root 5 by 7. So therefore, x is going to be root 5. So therefore, d is going to be the answer. Because we have to now uh, compare it with 5x by root 7 okay so root 7 root 7 is gone 5 5 is gone so x becomes root 5 so therefore d is the answer